Hello everyone. I recently managed to get hold of a Starlink uh, Generation 2 dish and router and I thought what's a good way to start by testing it against my full speed BT VDSL. So that's uh, 80 megabit down and 20 megabit per second upload. The dish in my instance is installed on the top of a flat roof. Uh, it's only a single story um, brick shed that it's on and uh, it has full unobstructed view into the sky so there's no trees or uh, other things getting in the way. Setup was fairly easy after a false start where uh, I think the connection, the weird USB or almost like mini HDMI type connection uh, into the stalk of the dish must not have been making contact properly. Um, during the first attempt to set it up it just said that the, the dish was missing um, and then that problem went away after I uh, took the dish off of its stand, uh, unplugged the, um, the lead and then plugged it back in, uh, restarted both the things and, and off we went. Okay so on my setup on the left side of the screen with the bigger sort of slightly bigger uh, display is a laptop which is connected via Ethernet into uh, my normal VDSL and on the right side of the screen is another laptop which is connected via Ethernet into the Starlink uh, service. So let's start by doing just a very obvious basic um, HTML speed test. So the left side you can see my VDSL is performing at 78 megabits per second down and the right hand side it the Starlink on the first test is only performing at 71.8 megabits per second. Uh, there's also a very big difference in the pings but still a 29 millisecond ping over satellites quite amazing. The upload is 18.9 on my uh, uh, VDSL connection and only 12 megabits per second on the Starlink. Re-performing the test is a different matter. So this is only a few seconds after that first test, but the Starlink now is getting 100 megabits extra um, and my VDSL is still performing a around about its maximum 80 megabit, 20 megabit. Um, so it's just interesting how variable the performance can be uh, second to second or minute to minute on Starlink. So let's do a third test. The VDSL performing at 80 megabit again and Starlink interestingly has dropped back down to 66.8 megabit so less than my uh, BT fixed VDSL service. and do a fourth test just to see. Different story again, a few seconds later the Starlink is performing at well above 100 megabits per second so just minute to minute and even second to second the speed difference on Starlink is, is astonishing. Um, you'll see throughout the rest of the video that even though it does drop below 80 megabits regularly I think the overall average speed is still quicker than my uh, VDSL service. So what we're going to do now is install Factorio off of Steam. Steam is well known for really clagging up internet connections so uh, I'm hoping here that the uh, Starlink should be significantly quicker than my VDSL service, the, uh, the fixed line fibre to the cabinet service. So there we go, the download has started on my VDSL service and on the Starlink it's also started. Um, they're about neck and neck at the moment. In fact, Starlink's slightly pulling ahead. In the top right of each of the windows you can see a little uh, white box with a graph in it. The green is the download speed, so uh, you can see the fixed line connection has hit the 77 megabit mark and basically it's going to stay there stuck at that speed that's the maximum that it can get. Uh, on the, the right hand uh, Starlink screen you can see that it, it's varying all over the place. Right now it's about 115 megabits per second um, but sometimes it's gone up above 100 and uh, I think that's 180 something. And certainly with the download bar in Steam 
the uh, Starlink has, I wouldn't say raced ahead, but it's certainly ahead probably by about a third. But as you can see the graph top right on Starlink, it is slowly reducing in speed. So we started off well at above 100 megabits per second, but we're now slowing down to somewhere like 80 or 70 megabits per second. And just towards the end of the uh, download on the Starlink, the speeds crept up again in a little peak and then dropped down again. But you can see on the, the left of the two graphs, the, the fixed line internet has hit its maximum line speed and that's it. That's, that's all it will do is it will sit at the pinned at the line speed and, and stay there. At this point, I think I would probably rather have the lower ping and the fixed speed uh, of the full speed VDSL service. If I was on a much slower service, so if I was on uh, 40 megabits or something, uh, Starlink would still be a, a no-brainer. You'd definitely go for the, the Starlink uh, in that instance. So another common use of the internet is downloading Linux ISOs. So I'm going to download a Debian Live image, uh, the same file on each of the connections, and we'll see which one gets there first. This bit of the video I will speed up because I'm not sure that many people want to just watch a progress bar as it downloads. Um, I'll be back once it's finished downloading. And there we go, nearly downloaded on the Starlink. You can see in the graph in the top right on the right hand of the, the two graphs that it did significantly slow down towards the end of the download, um, dipping below 80 megabits per second. But overall for that 10 minute download window, the Starlink was significantly quicker, uh, almost probably double the speed uh, compared to the, the fixed line 80 megabit fibre to the cabinet connection. Let's do one more speed test, or a couple more speed tests, and 202 megabits per second versus 78 megabits per second is quite a difference. The down, uh, sorry, the upload is disappointing, it varies between like 9 or 8 megabits per second and um, 14 megabits per second. It's a really difficult call to make between a, a consistent 80 megabits per second on the fixed line with quite a low ping, so a ping of 7 milliseconds or similar, uh, or a ping of 24, 25, maybe 35, uh, but you get somewhere between 80 megabits and 200 megabits and sometimes it can be as low as 40 megabits per second. Um, it's a difficult call to make, and certainly for people on much slower connections than my fibre to the cabinet service, the Starlink is a game changer, and especially in rural areas where you may not even get three, four megabits per second, uh, or you're stuck on mobile broadband, uh, where the speeds are lower and also far more variable. And I'm just doing a final test while I finish up this video, reinstalling Factorio for a second time. You can see that once again Starlink is overall quicker. Um, and that's it, it's not really a great deal of effort gone into this video, but I thought maybe it was, it was certainly useful for me to see and hopefully it's useful for somebody else to see. Hopefully this video has been interesting to somebody. If you found it useful or interesting, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.